I'm just looking at what you wanted to talk about here. Yeah. Alright, let's just, we'll just swing it. Welcome back to yet another edition of Buffalo Bills pregame as we're ready to kick off the 2014 season. The Bills open against the Chicago Bears in Soldier Field. We had one preseason, uh, not a hell of a preseason, not a good season, barely even a bad preseason. So having seen the five games that we did, getting to preview, what are your thoughts on the current state of the Buffalo Bills? Barely a bad preseason, I would say... It was a bad preseason. Um, I think that's being generous. A horrible preseason. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I've seen a worse preseason in my time as a Bills fan, sadly. Um, I know there's a lot of media scrutiny about Manuel, but the f chances are like, you've got to be able to score a touchdown in one of your five preseason games in the first string unit. I mean, not every game is fine, but you got to do it at least once. And we didn't. So they look... Definitely a 30, 31st, 32nd team right now. The Bills historically, when they were good... They're falling when, apart. When the Bills did not do well in the preseason under Marv Levy when they were a fantastic team. See? Falling apart. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> and so we don't necessarily put a lot of stock in winning preseason games. But Coach Marone came out and said that he was looking to get victories. And even though the, the, he, at least in, you know in word alone was willing to say we are trying to win these games and we still weren't able to win these games um, is that a reason to worry? I mean I, again it's preseason I've said it before I mean you've actually said it before like you can't take too much stock about winning the games but I think something's wrong I, the coach has come out and said that they're trying to win these games and right. he wants to win these games. Right. I, but I think something's going on that we're not seeing. I don't know if it's because Ralph died. I don't know if it's um, the, even the Pittsburgh practices, because even Fred Jackson came out and said he didn't really like that. Something's just behind the scenes is not going right, and that seems to be the issue right now. I don't know what it is. I mean, we have plenty of talent, honestly. I mean, yes, definitely Manuel needs to be doing better. I mean, he's still inaccurate. He still can't throw down the field, and he's still missing wide-open receivers. And he, and that they're not making adjustments, and they're dropping the balls, too. So there's a lot going on. And injuries are still a problem. And there's still injury issues. Sammy Watkins, if he gets touched, he breaks at this point. So, I mean, in general, I don't know what's going on, but I think there's just something behind the scenes going on that's causing this. I don't know if it's Ralph. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Would you say there were any highlights to the off season or the preseason? No. <laughs> we, we beat Carolina. That's it. Manuel not getting hurt, I thought, might be noteworthy. Is that he meant coming into the season, everyone said that he has to find a way to play the game and not get hurt. And, I mean, he didn't play. Well, he, yeah, he, he found a way to not get hurt, but he also found a way to not do well. I mean, so what, what's the matter if he's not going to do well? The quarterback position has seen some turmoil in the depth chart behind uh, EJ, and right now we're looking at Kyle Orton, a fellow deadhead. I'm glad he's here in Buffalo. Um, what do you think about what's happened in the quarterback position? Uh, it's, a, it's a mess. Um, I mean, we started with four quarterbacks, only one of them's on the team right now. We went with another, we, Jordan Palmer was a joke, and now we're bringing Orton, who pretty much said he was done with the NFL, and now he's playing football again. And, and he's had his good shots, he's had his bad shots. I mean, I'm glad we have a veteran who actually has some experience on the team. Uh, but, I mean, in no way do I think we're safe now because we have Kyle Orton as the backup. I mean, I'm definitely happy about it, but not... He's been bad. You know, he got replaced by Tebow a couple times. Yeah, we had to talk him off the couch. It was yeah. between the Bills and retirement. The Bills just barely won out. Yeah. Um, now, there is, coming up against the Bears, an opportunity for the offense to do well. Their defense was not looking great next season, allowing almost just shy of 30 points a game. Is that a weak? Is that a weak point of the Bills, of the Bears game that the Bills might be able to take advantage of? Possibly, yeah. I mean, again, we still haven't scored a touchdown um, for the first string, so we'll we'll see how that goes. But I mean, if we're going to score a touchdown, this is the game to do it. I mean, the Bears are a, a horrible defense, and the matchups are pretty decent. We have a good, our good defense versus their pretty good offense, and our horrible offense right now versus their horrible defense. So. Matchup-wise, we're actually pretty even. Uh, the Bills have never won in Soldier Field, but 
the Bears are projected to do well this season, and the Bills are not looking good. Do you think we have a chance of like taking them by surprise? I think. Well, we we never threw it downfield, so I want to emphasize where that right right now, and I, I highly doubt any Bears officials are watching this, so I'll just say it. I can see the Bills coming into this game and trying some more downfield. They have some aging corners. They got um, Tim Jennings. They got Charles Tillman. Like, they got some aging corners out there, and if Sammy Watkins is actually healthy enough to get on an open route, I mean, we can beat these guys. Manuel has the arm to do it, and the fact that we didn't throw downfield at all in preseason makes me think, okay, they're going vanilla enough that they're not going to try some of that stuff. Yeah, we tried it during the Giants game, but for the most part, I think we could take advantage of that part of their defense and, and try a few things new there. But in terms of anything really creative, I mean, they can't even do basic play, so I don't know how creative the offense could possibly get. And are you convinced that the lack of diversity on the offense is a result of trying to hide their hand as opposed to lack of trust in EJ? No, I, I think a lot of it's... Oh, and we have a visitor. Um, again, falling apart. Um, no, I think the lack of trust in EJ is... Uh, primary good reason for the issues on the offense in general. Um, but you know where I think a lot of that comes from? I think a lot of it comes from us. I mean, not just, not you and me particularly, but the fans have been bad on EJ all all off season. And I mean, the guy was the great white hope coming into uh, the first game last year. And look how well he did against the Patriots, against the Panthers, against the Ra and even the Ravens to an extent. He started off great. And then out of nowhere... He started looking bad, and that's when we start talking about it. I mean, and injuries creeped up. And injuries creeped up. So you can you can do chicken or egg, which came first. But I mean, how can if everyone's down on you, how can you do well? You know, I don't know. So, so there are certain athletes that seem to thrive as being the heel. Um, but as good as the offense's chances are against a weak Bears defense, it seems that the opposite is true for the defense. Without Kiko Alonso and not really an identity, with a new defensive coordinator playing his first, you know, coaching his first game for us, um, and uh, going against a Bears unit that seems to be pretty stacked on offense, do we have? Is there any chance of this not being a shootout? Like if we're going to compete, are we scoring thirty or more points? I, I don't know if we. I don't think we can at this point. The offense hasn't shown that we can. Even though, despite the numbers, I don't think we're going to score thirty points. It looks like it should be a shootout of some kind based on the offenses and the defenses in this game. However, my view going into it is that it's just not going to happen. Okay, so the Bills, you're picking the Bills to lose our game? I'm picking, our I'm picking a lower scoring game despite the numbers, believe it or not, at least on the Bills' end of it. And what's your prediction? My prediction for this game is going to be 24-14 um, Bills. Again, we haven't scored too many touchdowns, and despite the Bears' defense, I just don't think we're going to get there. I'll go with 21-15, Bears beating the Bills, and it probably won't be as close as that. I think, I can honestly say this might be a low point in um, Bills fandom for me, with very little hope for the future. We've traded on, trade on next season uh, as draft pick, yep. and our quarterback does not look good. And, and, and the Browns could very well have the number one overall pick due to us next year. Yeah. I mean, it, it's sad. Uh, season predictions, what do you think they're going to do this season? I think we're looking at... Four and twelve. I'm going to be a tad more optimistic. Say five and eleven. I we were playing the Browns. I think we might get a couple lucky ones in there somewhere, and, and one of them might be Chicago. I again, I I think we have a. Ch Even though I'm predicting on the lose, I think uh, we do have a chance this game. All right. Well, that does it for this episode of Buffalo Bills pregame. We will be back at some point in the season to share how abysmal we feel about what's going on. Or hopefully, optimistic. I would like to mention that I would like the Bills to win. Like, oh, I would yes, love this absolutely. to be a great season, yeah. especially considering the, how we are set up for next year, because if this is a bad season, there's really no chance that next year will be any better. Right. So, God, I hope they win. But as you can see, everything's just falling apart. <laughs> Good luck.